My son, David, asked me this today. Mom, did you email beat you, Mike? I told him, yes, I did. Why? And he told me that you made a video which started with me. So I checked to see if he was right. I am offended that you used my email without my permission. You also said, this is definitely real, in a sarcastic tone. And not only that, but you made more bit life videos. Ooh, you ain't gonna like this one then. <laughs> but everything else may have been a valid point. So I rechecked your channel. <laughs> oh, so I made you think twice about my channel. Okay, yay. And I saw so this. What is that thumbnail? And then they included all kinds of screenshots of the cursed ads. It's the cursed ads. See, ads that should not exist. They shouldn't exist. My God. It is absolutely disgusting. I thought that hopefully it was just some stupid clickbait, but the video was even worse. I took some screenshots of the most sickening photos in the video and videos around it. Why would you make th this video? <laughs> Why would you make videos of this stuff? This is sickening. You were lucky I cannot take legal action. That's right, because I'm a bit life lawyer. And also, you know what? We're playing more bit life today. Screw you, mom. Watch, this is actually real. <laughs> it's a real mom. <laughs> you never know these days. I even like the replies too. Uh, wow. No, I didn't. <laughs> I agree with you. Thanks, Google. If you ever don't know what to say, just have Google autocomplete finish it for you. You cheated on me. No, I didn't. You know, I think I want to make mothers very angry all across America. Now, the question is is how many more angry messages am I gonna get for making this bit life video today? If you, if you angry mothers keep coming at me, I'm gonna get Suey Sue Sue to come after you. But enough about the angry mothers. Today we are back with some more bit life with extra bits. I've never seen this menu. Will I cover my screen today? Please God, no. Today we're gonna do the zero to hero challenge, okay? So this episode is all about bettering your lives. It's to show that you can go from nothing to everything. The challenge is literally going to be a piece crap loser no life no stat having idiot to perfect stats that's the goal to go to perfect stats and even possibly perfect fame or rather we could call it the ugly to beautiful challenge <laughs> you know those horrible youtube challenges when you show your mommy's this episode it's good it's a good episode beat you by cares be gay? <laughs> I asked you guys on Twitter, I need your help to name my loser character in BitLife. Give me some sorry, lame loser names. Deku? <laughs> oh, beat you by God, people. <laughs> Hex Vex, you were going to receive an angry email from Anonymous Sword suit. BitLife itself responded, Master Palsy. What is that name? I Google image it and I literally got nothing. Disgrace, hey, hey, pretty good. Gonsi, <laughs> Gonsi. What the frick? Gonsi's heated right now now. Gotcha, Michael. That's a loser. All right. I'm seeing a lot of Kevins because apparently there's a whole subreddit about how loser Kevins are. All right. Welcome, Kevin Begay. Because <laughs> uh, it's a kind of a funny last name. I'm not going to lie. All right. No offense, guys. That's <laughs> <laughs> how you cry, stupid loser. Oh, I am a bastard. Oh, no. I'm Kevin Begay the bastard. And before you say it's a curse word and I get all kinds of angry emails, it's not. It's not. It's a real word. You bastard. <laughs> okay. This isn't going to work, though. I need stats. That are really low. So we're gonna keep doing this until we get a really crappy life. Cause it's not impressive to change this. I mean, I yeah, I guess I could bring my looks and smarts up, but I want everything like up up. Oh my god, he's amazing. No, stop. Whatever. Okay, everyone for some reason has good health and happiness in the beginning of their life, I guess. Kevin. We gotta bring this loser to a hero. To, to a good a good boy. And we gotta be famous in by any means necessary. Integrity, you broke your parents' chainsaw while you were playing. What will you do? <laughs> okay, Kevin. Come on, Kevin. Okay, for context, uh, here's the subreddit of stories about Kevin. There's lots of stories about Kevin. 112,000 people hate Kevin. If your name's Kevin, I have nothing against you, but apparently the whole world does. I'm sorry. You didn't pick your name. It's not your fault, Kevin. What'd you do it, Kevin? Kevin tries to give us food? Why, Kevin? They didn't need food, apparently. <laughs> I can make a whole video on this, but we're not. It's bit life time. Angry mom out there. But my son's name's Kevin. Ugh. Oh, finally. At least I have one parent that kind of loves me. Your father wants to take you to an arcade. Will you go with him? Of course I will. All right, if we're gonna get uh, our stats up, I want I'm achieving 
perfectness, perfection. I will be the perfect Kevin. So if anything, this video is going to make the Kevins proud. All right, so we, I think like every year, which we've already skipped like 15 years or something like that, we gotta go to Mind and Body, go to the library, and we gotta keep doing that because we gotta get smart and perfect. And also, we need to study harder in school. Okay, our, our smarts actually went down. I'm starting to think my mother is a fan of Maroon 5. Did you say Maroon 5? <laughs> Oh crap, my mo my dad died. Oh no. At least we got to go to the arcade together. That's kind of really sad. Attend his funeral. I paid my respects at his funeral. And you know uh, at his funeral, I accidentally probably pantsed him. <laughs> I probably fell inside the casket and freaking and then rolled down a hill because I'm Kevin. Okay, now I'm depressed. Okay, well my happiness was through the roof and not anymore. <laughs> That's people asking for money. That's what it is. All right, we got to boost that happiness. Can we boost everything else? You've been watching Tidying Up with Mary Kondo. Oh, Oh, that's uh, that's amazing show by the way <laughs> i've seen i've seen youtuber reactions to that show uh i mean I, cleaning is is cool but it's kind of weird it's kind of stupid <laughs> she can clean a lot better okay she needs to clean up my life can i get marie kondo to freaking clean up my life i want this alaskan one i'm gonna get the two-year-old one too because oh my god Oh my god, that is expensive never mind take it back wait no my parents can get it for me come on please love me enough to buy it i thought what whatever happened to asking your parents to buy it is that not a thing anymore? Okay, for now, we need a part-time job. We gotta get that money coming, okay? We could be a bike shop mechanic. Okay, yes, let's be a bike shop mechanic, okay? I don't care. I just actually need money. That's all I care. I mean, can we even do- Oh, we can go to salon and spa. I've never actually used this at all. Uh, let's get our nails done. <laughs> it's a manly thing. Come on, do Kevin's nails. Come on. We'll just do both. I, I'm broke. Okay, I imagine if we go to college, then we can bring our smarts up. Right? Information system sounds smart. Let's do that. Why do they gotta reject good old Kevin, huh? Community college it is. Oh, sweet! I can boost my looks! Okay, looks! You've received a voucher for a free stylish outfit from a department store at the mall. You've been feeling very out of fashion lately. What will you do? I'll take it! Hey, it's a start! <laughs> Alright, so we're getting there. We're not perfect yet. It would have been great if our dad didn't die right off the get-go, but you know what? You know, there's bumps in the roads, okay? Okay, let's- you know what we need? We need a date. Sure, she's a little crazy. It's Nick Cole Romo, she's a, uh, apprentice trucker. Okay, it's odd, but okay. Okay, well, that's really hurting. That, that's, that's, that hurts a lot, right, right up, right here. Okay, I'm not liking her looks because I need, I need someone that can make me feel good, okay? Actually, if their looks are worse than mine, then I could feel better because of that. True love! <laughs> oh, we are getting, we are getting the Kevin makeover, okay? I'm gonna haircut, cut and shave. Bam. Okay, that actually helps us. All right. We're starting here before plastic surgery. Inevitably, we'll go to plastic surgery. Oh my god. Okay. okay. Well, you know, <laughs> this ought to, I mean, hopefully it goes good. $7,000? Of course. Let's get the surgery. Oh, I don't have enough money. Never mind. Okay, I didn't mean to start there, but well, it'll come. It'll come. I don't know the difference between these, but sure. A tie massage sounds great. Encounter punk rocker. While walking through the cemetery, you encountered a punk rocker winking at you. <laughs> what will you do? Uh, I'll ignore him. I'm trying to be good. Please don't bother me. I have a tendency to mess a lot of things up. Waxing salon. I want a Brazil bro. I'm in a Brazilian package, boy. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, because waxing hurts. I've never actually got a wax, though. I just heard it hurts. Okay, but we don't need just the looks and all that. We need to be famous. To make we have to we have to make all the Kevins proud. So we gotta be famous by any means necessary. So let's look for a job. Okay, none of these are gonna make me famous. Wait, if we see a comedy movie, does that actually make us happy? It kinda does. They say laughter is the best medicine. <laughs> so I've made a mistake. I need to be famous. There's no way to be famous. I think it's because I went to college. Alright, we need plastic surgery now, okay? Get the surgery. Ow. Oh my god! <laughs> no! Oh my god, that brought our stat- that brought our stats way down. We got a facelift. Get the surgery. Oh, look at my looks. Okay, that's good. That's good right there. Basically, yeah, I'm just trying to be perfect. I don't know. This challenge is probably freaking stupid, but just keep watching, okay? <laughs> it's gonna be pointless if I can't be famous. That was what I was really going for. I want to be famous and perfect because that would be the true perfection, okay? All right, well, this is a start. Our looks are great, but our smarts, it's something we need to work on. I've gone to the library about 50 times. 
What, what more do I need to do? Our smarts are just going down. How are we getting stupider? Wait, you could be an armpit sniffer? <laughs> Sign me up. Oh, God, it's horrible. I think it's a real job, too. We both got to test some deodorants. All right, you know what? This you know what? This freaking isn't going the way that I really wanted it to. Oh, wait, I got, termi I got terminated as my circus performer job uh, because they say I've been pinching the bottom of young female employees. You have no grounds for that, okay? Yes, we do, Kevin. Your clown paint is on their butts. No, no one's job me from being a clown. I loved that job so much. I'm gonna sue them now. Oh my god, this actually works. <laughs> I'm gonna sue them for $25,000, okay? And I'm getting a good lawyer. Got it? Yay, you win your lawsuit against Crafty World Circus for ex for terminating your employment. The pen is mighty. -er. I mean, those were awful mighty accusations, okay? I deserved more. Oh, I actually won a lawsuit for once. Okay, again, but we're not... I'm not doing what I wanted to do. I wanted to be horrible and then perfect. But Kevin just had to screw it up. <laughs> all right, I'm just getting all kinds of surgery done. It's okay. I'm just trying to change everything about me. That's all. Some of these episodes require me to sit here for a long time, okay? It's very tough. Welcome to the new and improved Kevin Begay, okay? Okay, if we're gonna get our smarts up, we gotta go see a documentary. It'll make us real smart. The film's called Amani Champion's Addiction to Bit Life. <laughs> we just need a little bit of plastic surgery to just kind of kick us off the top. Top off our looks just a little bit. Okay, what's something that's not gonna go horribly wrong? A nose job? No, that'll go really bad. A facelift? Ow! Oh my... Why? Okay, what if I just get another facelift? <laughs> Kevin! Oh my god, okay. This is turning horrible. Your supervisor at Toucan Productions, Warren, has taken a liking to you and asked you to go paddle boarding with him. You are worried that it will make your coworkers jealous. No, do it. No questions. Come on. Suck up. Hey, you know what? You know, you do what you gotta do, okay? If there was a way to suck up to YouTube, I'd do it too. <laughs> I'm almost 40 years old and I'm still not famous. I've been doing this for like an hour and 30 minutes. My god. All right. We got 100% looks. I'm 41 years old, but that's, you know what? I still got so many lives, I mean, years ahead of me, all right? I can still achieve perfection. Woohoo! Famous! <laughs> I'm definitely getting the angry emails now. So we can write a book, and one of the titles is Averagely Endowed. <laughs> Let's write it. It was well received, my god! That is such a Kevin book. Okay, come on. Oh, this is the hardest thing to smart. I don't know why. I keep going to libraries. I keep going to see the documentaries. I don't know what else to do. I'm so famous, I just need to be smarter. It's only going up a percent a year. I'll die. My girlfriend was kidnapped? Your girlfriend, Mary Grace, has been kidnapped and is being held for ransom. Her kidnappers are demanding 800 $150,000 in cash for her return involved the police. The worst day of my life. The the police were unable to secure Mary Grace's release. No! <laughs> Mary Grace! They killed her! <laughs> my happiness is never gonna go. Oh my god. A tender funeral. She is presumed dead after disappearing. Oh, but it doesn't actually show her being dead. What if she comes back? Termination, you have been canned from your position as act actor. <laughs> Sorry, my, my, my camera's gone. They remind you that you're no spring chicken. Because I'm old? Insults. I am insulting, okay? My fame is gonna go down now. What the heck am I supposed to do? So yeah, I got a new girlfriend too. I hope my old one don't come back. <laughs> that would be awkward. I've been through so many things. I'm gonna name my next book a man named Kevin. It's like the third bestseller. I have really good luck except for my you know wife dying they fired me for being old that's definitely suey sue sue okay i'm suing them for the top amount justice is served i actually won great now they won't hire me anywhere are you kidding me just because i couldn't be smart enough oh it's just it's just all down the tube now no nah, no nah, it freaking doesn't matter i'm not even famous anymore <laughs> well what have we learned if your name's kevin you can't be perfect i don't i hope you guys know i'm just kidding like it's, it's just a dumb joke i was this close to being perfect i let all the angry mothers down now i'm gonna get so many emails i thought i could show that bit life is a good thing but then your wife gets kidnapped guys smash like for kevin and leave more bit life challenges down below seriously i'm in need of more bit life challenges i thought of a few of them but i wanted to try to be the perfect challenge i unfortunately have failed i am so sorry this is my apology all right guys be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed that and i'll see you kevin's in the next one Bye bye